Hey everyone, this is a quick review of Crave Beauty's The Beach Shield, SPF 50+, PA++++. This product launched last August 2018 in South Korea under the name Beat the Sun and November 2018 in the United States as The Beach Shield. Despite having different names, both have the exact same formula. Due to USA FDA regulations, Crave Beauty cannot claim the Beach Shield as a sunscreen and therefore they had to change the product name for the US launch and described it as an antioxidant day fluid instead. The product comes in a medicine pouch looking outer packaging. This design is beautiful but I wish it was a bit less wasteful. The product is a part of Crave Beauty's core series which means that it is a product that is to be used on the daily. This goes without saying since sunscreen is one of the most important steps in your routine. People who know me would know how passionate I am for sunscreen, especially since I live in such a tropical country. Regardless of the condition outside, please wear sunscreen and protect yourself. The texture of this feels like condensed milk which is really easy to spread. It feels a bit thicker than my favorite Ali sunscreen and it also dries down a bit slower. It contains ethanol in its ingredients so if your skin doesn't tolerate well to any alcohol or if you have extra dry skin then this may not be for you. Leo Yu, Crave Beauty's founder and CEO, explains that the alcohol is needed not only for the better and more comfortable texture of the product but also for stabilizing the UV filters. My Ali sunscreen actually smells a lot more like alcohol than the Beat Shield, which explains Ali's beautifully thin and gel-like consistency as well as its fast drying time. This product also layers nicely as it doesn't leave a white cast and it doesn't pill so it looks invisible underneath makeup. It doesn't dry down matte, so people with oily skin may find this off-putting, but I personally like how it enhances my skin's glow. I layer makeup over it anyway. This product also doesn't contain added fragrances and essential oils, so it doesn't have that heavy sunscreen scent that other western sunscreens tend to have. Furthermore, it isn't waterproof, so it can be easily removed along with your makeup products at the end of the day. However, this also means that it cannot be used when you're going out for a swim, either in the pool or at the beach. This product is also not fungal acne safe. Beetroot extract is the antioxidant rich star ingredient of this product that prevents skin aging, reduces hyperpigmentation, and moisturizes the skin. Alantoin is added to the ingredient list to suit skin and relieve irritation, while the powerful tag team of stabilized vitamin C, resveratrol, and EGCG are antioxidants that shield the skin against environmental stressors and neutralize free radicals. These ingredients are what I think makes this sunscreen more than just your average Asian beauty sunscreen, which already has amazing feel and texture together with advanced UV filters. I think my one gripe with this product is really the size of it. Although I love how small and cute and portable it is, 50 milliliters is quite little for me, especially since I'm used to the generous sizing of Japanese sunscreens, which normally come in 70 to 90 milliliters. Seeing that you need to use sunscreen on the daily, this little bottle will definitely not last long with the generous and daily use on the face and body. It would be nice if Crave Beauty releases a bigger bottle as another option for us heavy sunscreen users. Unfortunately, international shipping is also unavailable at the moment, so for people living outside of the US and South Korea, it would be more economical to buy other Asian sunscreens instead if you can't find a package forwarding service. That's it for my review! What's your favorite sunscreen? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.